All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick little tutorial how to extract a trailer from American Truck Simulator, how to modify it in Blender, how to put it back into a mod archive and test it in game. So you're going to need Blender version 2.77 or higher, I'm hoping. Um, I'll be using 2.77 for this tutorial. Um, you're going to need the three zips that I'm going to link to. One is going to be a basic mod directory structure that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. Um, one is going to be the official SCS software Blender tools and a Blender to SCS importer and exporter. So first thing I'm going to do, this ATS mod zip that I had you guys download, right click and extract. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using WinRAR, which is my archive program. Some people use WinZip or 7-Zip, whatever you want to use. Um, it should pretty much work. It might be a little different. but Okay, so with the ATS mod zip extracted, you're going to want to go ahead and open up your American Truck Simulator directory, which will be program files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Com, and American Truck. Another way to get to that directory is if you open Steam, right click on American Truck Simulator, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files button, it'll bring you to the same directory too. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that base.scs file. Inside the ATS mod folder that we extracted here from the zip file. I just extracted right to the desktop. Makes it a little bit easier. Go into the base folder where the SCS extractor.exe is and paste that base.scs. It's about a gigabyte, so it might take a few seconds. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag the base.scs to SCS extractor.exe. It's about a gigabyte, and you are extracting, I believe it's an encrypted archive, so it might take a minute or two. I'll just sit here and twiddle my thumbs. <clears throat> it'll be done extracting once this window disappears. It's not going to tell you done or not done. It's just going to sit here and tell you nothing until it's done, basically. Gulp. 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 Waiting, 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 waiting. <laughs> cool, done. All right, I'll close that folder for now. Now, um, assuming you already have Blender installed, right click, open file location. That's going to take us to Program Files, Blender Foundation, Blender. Go ahead and open up your version folder. Mine's 2.77 currently. Scripts and then add ons. So inside this folder, forget that was there, that does not exist. We're going to open up the Blender Tools 1.3. Go in to Blender Tools 1.3, add on IOSCS tools. I'm just going to drag it from here to here. It's going to copy it. Ask me to continue. Yes. All right, that's copied. Now go ahead and open up the Blender to SCS add on zip. Do the same thing again. IOSCN SCS folder, copy to here, replace. All right, now the plugin is installed into Blender. So now we're going to go ahead and open up Blender. Um, I'm going to be using the 3ds Max interaction. Uh, Alt W will bring it to the current views that I'm in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, User Preferences. Going to go to Add-ons. And over here in Search, we're just going to type SCS. And you're going to see two things. Make sure they are both checked. Um, sometimes if you go to check one and it doesn't check or uncheck, it lags a little bit. So when you click it, wait a second and it'll finish. So go ahead and hit save user settings at that point. So now what we're going to do is minimize Blender again. Go into the ATS mod working directory we're in. Go ahead. We're going to copy some files into our working mod directory here. So go ahead and open up the base folder and copy vehicle. Just right click copy. And go ahead and go back to the ATS mod folder and go into mod. Now we're going to paste it here. This will take a second. Go into vehicle. I'm going to delete everything but the trailer folder because I'm only going to be modifying a single trailer. If you leave all these files in here, it's basically going to make your mod way bigger than it needs to be. We're only going to be modifying the Walbert short box trailer. And I already know it's in the box folder, so I'm going to delete everything but box. And if you pop into box, you'll have all your files here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open Blender back up now. Go ahead and go to File, Import, SCS 
or SC Soft model ETS2 PMD. You don't want the PIM, you want the PMD for vehicle related things. <clears throat> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I already have it bookmarked here, but it's basically going to take us to our desktop ATS mod folder. This is a very important part here. We need to select the mod base path and the SCS base path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go it, just click on base once. Once you're in the base folder here, ATS mod base, click set as SCS base path, and it's going to change this. So now you can see we're in base. Now we're going to go up. We're going to go to the mod folder, click mod. And you should only see the vehicle as shown here. So we know we're in the mod. And then you're going to click set as mod path. Now we're going to go into vehicle, trailers, box, trailer.pmd, and hit import SCS model in the top right. All right, as you can see, we have the trailer. So I'm going to do one super basic modification. I'm going to basically make the trailer skinny, or not skinny, but short. Yeah, short. So I'm just going to take pretty much all the height out of it. So I'm going to just click on one at a time to go down here to edit mode, and I'm going to unclick the limit selection visibility that way i can actually grab vertices from the side and move them down so we're just going to make the trailer really short at this point go back to object mode click it again edit mode that, that'll still be unchecked and i'm basically just going to make this whole thing short just for demonstrational purposes go in object mode again grab some more All right, so now we have a pretty messed up short trailer here, I would say, to say the least. So that's pretty simple. So now I'm going to go to File, Export. Again, the .pmd. Now, this is an important part here. I actually have this set up as a preset. So you're going to want the export origin directory to be vehicle trailer box because that's what I'm working here. So vehicle trailer box. So from your mod directory on is what you're going to want. Make sure you use forward slashes. I was told to use forward slashes. I don't know if backslashes don't work or not, but use forward slashes as I do here. So vehicle trailer box is where that's going to be. Um, I already have it bookmarked over here to get here. But what we're going to do is you're going to want to go into the mod folder in this window here in your actual save window. Just go to mod. <clears throat> so you're going to have your mod description your mod pick and your manifest here and make sure that this is set up right here and make sure your pmg version is set to 1.4.x now what you're going to do is hit export scs simple as that if everything worked right it will create a materials and a textures folder in the box directory so if i go back okay it didn't double up directories or anything like that so that's perfect so now you can save this for future reference, I'm going to just name it uh, test <coughs> in my box. Save. Now we can close Blender. Okay. Now we're back here at our ATS mod directory. Go ahead and open it up. Now go into the mod folder. Now here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select all of these. Mm, actually, before you do that, go ahead and do a brief mod description. And the manifest.c is what's actually going to show up in the game. So if you right click, edit with notepad or open with notepad. So open with, I'm not always going to use because I already have something set up. So you just basically use Windows notepad. Display name here, tech, truck. So there's a couple properties you can change. The icon points to the modpick.jpg, which is here. So once you've altered that to your liking, select all of these, right click, add to archive. Now, this might oh, this is the part where if you're using 7-zip or WinZip, this part might not be identical. So what I'm going to do here, though, leave this open. <coughs> I'm just going to name this mod.scs. I'm going to set it as a zip. And I'm going to do store, which is no compression. Once again, mod.scs. Now, you have your mod.scs file. That's that's how simple it is to repackage your mod. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. going to go to Documents, American Truck Simulator, Mod. And you're going to paste your SCS file in here. Oh, 
I hope this is still recording. Oh, hope that's been recording, right? So now, open up American Truck Simulator, play American Truck Simulator. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. Now, mod manager, new mods found. There it is, right there. Display name here, trucks. So that's the mod I just created. Make sure it's green, says active, confirm changes, continue game. All right. Now we're going to click drive. If everything works right, we're going to have a short mod. There it is. There's our nice messed up trailer right there in front of us. So that's a super basic one. Um, like I said, I'm not familiar with Blender, so I haven't gotten the textures. I haven't gotten the rigging, adding more wheels, anything. I haven't really messed with any of that. Um, that's just going to be a super basic tutorial how to m alter existing models. So hope this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, put it in the comments and I will try and get to them. Um, I have a lot of projects going on, so sometimes it's hard for me to keep track of everything and pay attention to everything. But um, go ahead and leave them there, and I'll try to do my best.